Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking it up from the topic of arithmetic progression. So we are continuing of our series of questions on JWE Advanced. So today's question, we have taken it up from the year 2018. And if I talk about the question which is given to us, it says that X is a set which consists of the list of terms in arithmetic progression and they have given us there are 2018 terms of this list starting with the numbers 1, 6, 11. So this is your entire sequence of arithmetic progression with 2018 terms. Then we have been given that y is a list which again consists of 2018 terms of arithmetic progression. Starting off with the terms, the first term given to us is 9, 16, 23 and likewise. So this is our second list of arithmetic progression. And after that we have been asked how many number of terms are there in the set of x union y. So basically we need to find out the total number of terms which are in either set x or set y. So let's understand. So before understanding this part, number of elements in set X and Y, first let's solve some ideas for arithmetic progression in set X and Y. So if for set X, if I find out the last term which will be there, we know there are 2018 terms. So the last term, that is your nth term, will be nothing but 2018 term. So if I want to find that out, nth term is given by a plus n minus 1 into d. We know a is the first term that is 1. Number of terms I have is 2018 minus 1. Difference we have between each consecutive terms is 5. So if I put that 1 plus 2017 into 5, that gives me 17 fives are 35. Then we have 5, 0, 0, 0 and 5, 2 are 10. So we have here 17, 5, 0, 85. So we have here 10,085 10, plus 1. That is 10,086. So the last term's value in this list of set X is 10,086. Now same way if I find the last term in set Y as well. We have been given 9, 16, 23 and so on till the last term. So let's find the last term of this also. So again I'm using the same idea. Nth term is a plus n minus 1t. So 2018 term becomes a that is first term plus 2018 minus 1 and the difference between the consecutive terms is 7. So you get this as 7. You get this as 9 plus 2017 into 7. 77s seven are 49, 471s are 7, 11, 1, 7, 0, 0, 1, and 7. So, so you have 14,119 plus 9. So 14,128 14, will be the value of the last two. Set. Now, if I try to find, first of all, x intersection y that is nothing but common elements in both the sets so let's see that we had our set x as 1 6 11 then it will be 16 21 likewise till 10086 we have our set y as well that is 9 16 23 30, 37, the last term in this case came out to become 14,128. So when I see the terms in the set that is x intersection y, that is the common terms in the list, 
I can see the first common term in the list which is present here as 16. And if I want to understand what will be the difference between the consecutive terms in the list of common terms, I understand here the common difference was 5. Here the common difference is 7. So if I want to find the common difference in the list of terms which are having common terms, we can just take the LCM of that 5 and 7. So that is 35. So after every 35 terms, we have something in common here. Not after every 35 terms, basically with the difference of 35 in the consecutive terms. So the next term would become 16 plus 35. So that becomes 51. Next term would become 51 plus 35, that is 86. Again, adding plus 35, 91 and 30, so 121 and so on. Now, we don't know the last term, what will be the last term here, but let's try to find the last term as well. So we know that the last term should be any value which can be less than 10,086 because out of the two last terms in the list X and Y, I can see the lowest value is 10,086, which is in set X. And when I'm taking something common out from both the lists, it should be any value lesser than or equal to 10,086, which is the lowest of the two, right? So what we'll try to do here is to find the last term. What I will say here is that last term should be any value less than or equal to 10,086. So if I try to find that, I'll get that A plus, let's say there are N terms, so N minus 1, D, less than or equal to 10. Now we know first term here in the common list is 16. That should be n minus 1. And the difference here, we already know that we added 35. That is LCM of the two differences. Get the terms in the common list. That's less than or equal to 10,086. So if I try to solve this, you get n minus 1 into 35 less than or equal. 10,086 divided by 16, not divided, minus 16. So we get here 35 into n minus 1, lesser than or equal to 10,070. If I divide this by 35, this becomes, if I divide this 35 with 10,070, let's do that. What I get? So n minus 1 is less than 8. 35 twos are 70, 30, 307. So if I divide that, yeah, 35 twos are 70, 307. 35 twos are 70, so 35 fours are 140, 35 six are 210, 35 eights are 280. So you get 35 8s are 280. That is 27, 270. So 35 8s are 280. If I decrease 280, when I say 35, you get 250, 245. So 35 7s are 45. Again, you have this as 25, 0. So you get 35 6s are, right, or 7s are. So you get something like 287.7 something. If I take one also there, you get n should be any value less than 288.7. So I get that number of terms should be lesser than 288.7. So I cannot have this 0.7. So we will have to take any value lesser than 288.7. So to figure out the largest number of this list, I will have to take the largest possible number for the value of n and if I see the largest value of n that I can take here as 288. So I'm taking the largest term that is maximum value of n 288. So I understand in this list of common terms of x and y set, I have 288 terms in total. So let's try to find the 288 terms value for the list. So if I try to find that, 288 terms value a plus n minus 1d 
A we already know that is the first term's value was 16 and common list has the difference of 35 and we have 288 terms. So you get 16 plus 287 into 35. So if I multiply 287 with 35, you get 35 sevens are 245. So 5, 34, 35 eights are, we get that as 280. So 280 and 24, so that is 304. And 35 twos are 70. Get the value as 1,004. So 1045 will be the value of the last term in the common series that will be present, right? So this 1000, sorry, not 1000, 10,045 is less so than 10,006 and that will be the last term. So we have in total 288 terms in the common list of terms of set X and Y. We have 2018 terms in the set X. We have 2018 terms in set Y. So now if I apply the rules of Venn diagrams, we need to find number of elements in the set X and Y. So if you see that, one set is X, other set is Y. And when you want to find X union Y, I can write that as number of elements in set X plus number of elements in set Y. So if you are adding number of elements in set X, if you are adding number of elements in set Y, what you are doing here is this column of elements of both, that is a common elements X intersection Y, this common list is added also with the X terms, also with the Y terms. So this terms which are present in this section are added two times instead of counting them one time. So we need to subtract that one time. So we are subtracting n of x to section y. 2018 plus 2018 minus, okay. you get that as 4026 minus 288. So we subtract this. 16 plus 8, that is 8. Here you get 12, 12 minus 8, that is 4. Here you have it as 9 minus 2, that is 7. And here you have it that as 2. So you get the answer as 3, 7, 4. So number of elements in the set X, B and Y is nothing but 3, 7, so that is the answer required, which is asked to us. So the answer we get here is number of elements in set X, U, and Y are 3,700. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, where we have been asked that how many elements are present in the set of the union of two lists, where X was a list whose common difference was five, in the arithmetic progression, whereas y was the list with the common difference of 7. So we just figured out what are the last terms. Once we figured out that, we got the list of common terms in both the lists, that was x intersection y. And once we got that also, we found out how many terms are present in the list that is common to both the sets, x and y. And once we got that, we just figured out the total number of elements in the set. And that comes out. So that's the answer we need to put in. I'll meet you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. Till then, you can like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, do share the videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of JWE. Thank you.